It is Tada for the PHL Love the Clock News for the Sunday night, November 30th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggs here now, your Sunday night. News at 9 here at 11 o'clock here. And our top story at 11 o'clock here is a tragic end to the case of a missing or state football player. Costa Carriage was found. Dead Sunday of what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound, Columbus Ohio police have confirmed. Hong Kong police used batons, pepper spray, and water hoses in battles with for democracy protesters for control of streets near the government's headquarters as student leaders pledged to free, for free elections. In St. Louis, Missouri, at worship services around the region, clergy on Sunday called for recovery and a hearing after a week that began with an announcement that a grand jury would not indict a white police officer who shot an unarmed black teenager in Ferguson, Missouri. In Jakarta, Indonesia, a measure of Indonesia's factory activity fell to a record low amid weak demand and higher fuel prices after the government cut subsidies last month. The big loss by Taiwan President Mao Yingzhong Kuomintang, Nationalist Party and local elections yesterday will shake up the island political establishment made. Well, islands still get relations with mainland China ahead of the next one. It was a long night Saturday for police in National Hampshire as they tried to negotiate with a man who had barricaded himself inside his home after he allegedly killed his girlfriend as he took his own life after an eight-hour standoff. Governor Deval Patrick of Massachusetts was on NBC's Meet the Press with Chuck Todd Sunday morning weighing in on the Ferguson, Missouri Grand Jury decision he stated one in the diamond in the Michael Brown case. In western Massachusetts, a teenager has spent Thanksgiving weekend under house arrest after police said she threatened to shoot up her school. Terrell LaValle pleaded not guilty to cops of threatening to commit murder. And place in a mom that she was arrested after fellow students at East Hampton High School told the parent that she made the threat in a classroom last Tuesday. Her lawyer said, Hold her in her client and it's unfair, and the police investigation was followed as a dangerous hearing will be scheduled for Monday. In Coras, the police are looking for someone that they say they've been breaking into cars and stealing things. There were almost 37 reports of stolen property in the unlocked cars in the vicinity of Old Pressure Road. Plus, police have some detectives who are asking anyone who have to view surveillance videos of home security systems in their homes to contact that if they see the suspect in the footage. On appeals court in Canada, could an American couple in the depth of an eight-year-old adopted daughter on Sunday, but they were barred from leaving the Persian Gulf nation where they were being told we were free to go. Elected President Taba Vasquez of Uruguay just was joining a celebration rally and met the video today after knowing the results of the runoff election as Vasquez wins the presidential election in Uruguay. In Kabul, Kabul's police chief resigned on Sunday. A spokesman said after the Afghan capital was hit by at least nine military attacks in the last two weeks, with foreign combat embassy vehicles and U.S. troops among those targeted. Smoke rises after what activists said were four airstrikes by forces loyal to the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad in Raqqa on Friday, as 30 U.S.-led strikes hit the Islamic State of Syria's Raqqa monitoring group in Beijing. Sadly, confident after a burst of high-profile diplomacy, President Xi Jinping told Communist Party officials. In a major address here over the weekend, that China would be nice to its neighbors in Asia, but that would be run into an active foreign policy. An undated photo provided by Yusuf Sayed showed his brother, Adrian Sayed. Adrian Sayed, now age 34, was set his life in prison after he, he was convicted to death of killing his Woodlaw High School classmate former girlfriend, Hey Bin Lee. A high school principal at the U.S. Osset Air Base in South Korea, but they said that officials should have. Locked down the school at base as a precaution after some reported that that scheduled active shooter drill. Flight delays and cancellations are usually the top fear for holiday travels. Fresh of fires had of hope for fakes to get around Sunday. There were only a few years of other problems on the busy travel day, such as a mile long security line in Chicago on Sunday, told by flyers. In Miami, tis the end of hurricane season, as number 30 marks the official end of the Atlantic Basin hurricane season. After a busy holiday weekend at Chopper Balls, Bill's Americans are expected to log on to the computers that keep shopping on the day dubbed Cyber Monday. Federal Aviation Administration and Michael Herder said the HCL already has wheels set for the use of drugs and to prevent them from interfering with all aircrafts. In Turkey City, the doll touched a more than a 70 year pick against the Yen on Monday while the Swiss bank slipped against the euro after voters rejected a plan for the central bank to boost its gold revenues. Sony has developed a watch made for the paper as part of an initial experiment with the use of the material for fresher products. Streaming video on TV has become the go-to gift for the prices being marked down so well, with many offers streaming six instead of actual console-style devices that would sit on a desk or a table center there. Great stock and stuffer. 
And Julian Jolie is unbroken by Game Blast on the 2014 EW Profile Awards. So full to screen for awards buttons when Universal availed it. But Simple Tales of Screen is a both school Sunday, despite the mix of ad buzz and competition. In a spa day with Candy Burst, Fedra Farks, and Portia Williams leaks up to the best out of vocal muscles, first taken on former BFF Cynthia Bailey. Just in case you wonder what happened to an American Net Space Program, NASA's about to launch a new craft designed to carry humans far beyond Earth. UN collaborative negotiations are meeting the improved writer and events are talks on a new global agreement. 195 nations have committed to finalize on a new climate pact with the press by the end of 2015. And four years ago, a company was established by a manual bank financing by merging the two health maintenance organizations. HMO offered companies in Cold Gables as a city in Miami County, Florida. The, in Miami Dade County, Southwest at that time, Miami in 2010. In London, New York's drug maker FV has added two HIV medicines for children to a shared patent pool and an initiative that should speed the development of a cheap new pediatric formulation to use in poor countries. Okay, check a look at New England is alert here at 11.06 air. It is chills in Salem, Massachusetts. Request for the jaws. One broad street females with head second round. In Springfield, a man was bought in the hospital after pedestrian accident in Springfield, Massachusetts. And in Alton, Massachusetts at 196 7th Street, companies have fired an attic, ACW, and, and in Dennis, Massachusetts, traffic alert, Route 20 is closed at Shuttle Road at C Street as a car hit at a pole. Peter Channel New Times now 1106 here, and let's take a look at the traffic situation here on this late Sunday night here. Okay, take a look at the traffic situation here on this late Sunday night here. And he's showing some smooth sailing on ways, byways of New England as you're going to have an easy commute on the Sunday night. And we got one accident here that is I 84 in Sturbridge here on the eastbound side in Sturbridge. So expect some delays, but otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here. All right, let's take a look at our weather situation here at 1107 here. Our congregations here in North Massachusetts at 11 o'clock in the Sunday night. 52 degrees at temperature over Cascades. Humidity is 72%. Wind speed southwest by 8 miles high. Barometer 3.07 inches. 2.43 degrees. Visibility 10 miles. And wind chill about 49 degrees. Okay, congregations we have region here. 52 degrees in Boston. It's 49 in Pittsburgh. 47 in Bedford and in Haverhill. 52 in Beverly. It's 51 in Gloucester. 44 in Worcester. 46 in Surbridge. 48 in Webster. 50 in... Milford, 52 in Norwood, 53 in Taunton and New Bedford, 52 in Plymouth and Palmerston, 54 in Falmouth, 49 in Chatham, 51 in Cape Cod Bay, 54 in Nantucket, 53 in Nantucket, 54 in Murphy's Vineyard, 52 in Blockon, 51 in Wesley, 48 in Smithfield, it's 51 in New York City, 52 in Innislip, 54 in Montauk, 51 in Long Island, 49 in Bridgeport, New Haven, it's 38 in Denbury, 46 in Waterbury, 49 in Meriden, 49 in Norfolk, Connecticut, 48 in Windsor Locks, 45 in Springfield, Massachusetts, 35 in Amherst, 38 in Greenfield, 43 in Napa, 40 in North Amazon and Pittsfield, Massachusetts, it's 42 in Albany, New York, it's 41 in Sir Oak Springs, 43 in Mainton, 38 in Brown Burr, 39 in Rutland, it's 37 in Keene, 43 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 34 in Lakota, Hampshire, 36 in Concord, Hampshire, 43 in Manchester, Hampshire, 47 in National Hampshire, and in Portsmouth, Hampshire, and it's 43 up in Port Maine here. Oh wait, let's take a look at our map situation here on around the country. It shows a cold front switching from Idaho, stretch of the name for Wyoming, merge with a cold front from Cabo, stretch it in New Mexico, down for Texas, Oklahoma, and a station front from stretch of the Mississippi, merging with a cold front from Tennessee, stretch it down the High Valley, and up in the Eastern Great Lakes, and station front up in Quebec here. And another station front, stretch it in the Central Cover, down for Nevada, down for Utah, and down for Western Colorado, and a uh, ridge of low pressure coming up to the Rockies, and another ridge of low pressure around Central Arkansas, and then up in the Eastern Ontario here. And we got a photo off the Washington, Oregon, Northern California coastline. We got a photo off the Southern California coastline. Photo by Southeastern Portion of Nevada, down for Western Arizona, down for Gulf of California here. And we got a photo up in the Northern North Dakota, stretch up in Manitoba, but with Quebec, up in Ontario. And another photo from Northeastern Ontario, and up in the Northern Quebec here. 
while we get some high pressure in Arizona and Mexico off the Baja California coastline and Southern South Carolina here. 50 degrees at temperature right out here in Detroit. Pair 6 ones in Pittsburgh and Washington, D.C. 56 in Atlanta. 75 in Miami, Florida. 68 in Brantville, Texas. 69 in Dallas, Texas. 23 out of Kansas City. 31 in Chicago, Illinois. 7 above in Minneapolis. 14 below in Great Falls, Montana. A pair of 18s in Omaha, Nebraska and Denver, Colorado. 35 in Salt Lake City. 6 four in Phoenix. 48 in Albuquerque. 62 in Las Vegas. 62 in Los Angeles. It's 60 out of San Francisco. And 31 degrees at temperature out in Seattle, Washington. Here. Okay, take a look at our radar situation here on this late Sunday night here. And it shows on the New England radar side. Nothing brewing in the Atlanta. Nothing brewing here in New England. Ooh, we're seeing some rain showers, spotty rain showers around eastern portions of Quebec and stretch up in the extreme northern portions of Maine, North up in the northern Vermont, and it's stretching around some Quebec, around Quebec and northeastern Montreal, and a line of rain showers from upstate New York stretching around western New York, down for northwestern Pennsylvania, and down for Ohio, stretching around the ice one quarter from near Cleveland, down to Columbus, and near Cincinnati, down for southern Indiana, down for southern Illinois, and then western Kentucky, and spotty rain showers around Kentucky here, and it's going to make its way, but it's going to lose some steam here. And although tomorrow we could see the south coast of Massachusetts close to Rhode Island and close to I could get some rain shot actually sometime tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening here. And we've seen some rain shots off the Carolina coastline here, off the North Carolina, South Carolina coastline here. And we've seen some rain shots around Southern Florida, around Miami, and stretching it down off the Northwestern Cuban coastline here. And we're seeing some rain shots off the northeastern Mexico and then off the southeastern portion of Texas here. Some rain, clean and snow showers around western Carolina and the eastern Utah. Some snow showers from western Nebraska stretching in Wyoming and off the southern Idaho down for northern Nevada. And some rain showers central, west central portions of Nevada and stretching in eastern, northeastern California and up in the northwestern portions of California and around the San Francisco Bay Area here. And and some rain showers around the southeastern portion of Alaska here. And the rain and snow storm in the northern California will bring some relief, but not enough to alleviate it throughout in northern California here. All right. Take a look at satellite little beer. And it shows some spotty clouds coming much to New England, Atlanta clouds from Quebec and stretching on British Columbia and a line of clouds coming to much of the Great Lakes and up in the Northern Plains, Central Plains, and then through the Western Texas Panhandle. And we see some clouds when Northern and Central Rockies and up in the Pacific Northwest and up in the Northern Nevada, Northern California, and up in the Southern Portion of California here. All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the region here. First around the country here. Heavy rain possible over parts of the Pacific Northwest and temperature will be 10 to 20 degrees below average over the plains into the upper middle Mississippi Valley. And upper Great Lakes, a pumpkin's rain, freezer rain will develop over the parts of the Arkansas and Central Appalachians, Middle United States. Here, a strong cold front extending from the lower Great Lakes to the Southern Plains. We'll move eastward off the northeast Middle United coast and southward to the western Gulf of Mexico by Tuesday morning while lingering over parts of the southeast. Moisture from the Gulf of Mexico will pull along and over the battery produced rain from the lower Great Lakes, northeast to the middle of the Mississippi Valley will expand. Southward of the part of the lower Mississippi Valley, southern Plains, but late Monday night. Parkless rain, freezing rain may develop over parts of the southern Missouri and northern Arkansas on Monday morning. In the afternoon, the rain will end over the northeast low Great Lakes by Monday evening while expanding the parts of the middle island. In addition, rain and freezing rain will develop over parts of the central Appalachian zones Tuesday morning. With late to moderate rain developing over parts of the middle Atlantic states, and meanwhile, the western edge of the front will wiggle northward from the Great Basin in the northern Atlantic region and northern Iron Plains by Tuesday. As the snow will develop over parts of the Great Basin and the Central Valley Plains that will be lifting over to the Northern Vermont region, Northern Plains by Tuesday, and rain will develop over parts of the Northern and Central California, expanding into parts of the Pacific Northwest Monday evening and Tuesday. As light to moderate rain will be developed along the California coast and into parts of the Pacific Northwest by Tuesday morning. And elsewhere, showers and dense will develop over parts of the Florida Monday evening and Tuesday. All right, let's take a look at forecast discussion in region here. And remaining mild. Monday, part of a cold front sweeping in the region, that's within colder air for Monday night into Tuesday. A warm front 
Well, what's the other than Jerry? Like, which we mix two and add in the ones and water. With like main chance elsewhere. Bounder. Nearby trend colder weather later in the week as the pressure low with pressure will bring to the potential for rain, snow, and or ice sometime next week. Near time until 6 a.m. Monday morning, 6 4 p.m. update, and abundance of mid level continents and mild south to southwest. Flow will keep overnight lows in the 40s for a main dig location. Do expect to see some middle 30s across portions of the southern New Hampshire, north west of the passages where winds to couple will also likely see some petrified development across the northwest zones, which could be the locally dense given snow covered in this region. Otherwise, Billy, dry weather should persist given a lack of force and deep layer moisture, but can't rule out a spot sprinkle shower across our far western zones late. And let's take a look at our weather notes here. Okay, our rainfall. Boston's got 5.27 inches November total. It's above the normal for the November rainfall for Boston 3.99 inches. And Worcester just barely at 4.46 inches for, but for November. 4.28 so far for November. 32 in St. Louis, 6 out of Memphis. Tennessee and 53 up in the Valley, North Carolina here. And temperatures jump to the 40s and 50s today for much of the region. It's going to be a mild overnight on tap here. And tomorrow's as it's going to be 48 to 58 degrees. So we are going to start off December on the mild side here. And the Cape and Island, South Coast, Massachusetts, Coast of could see some light rain in the afternoon or a little sprinkles in the afternoon in the year. So I'm thinking about a 5, maybe a 10% chance that will happen here. And a light winter mix Tuesday night and Wednesday morning across the interior as this could be possible Tuesday night and Wednesday morning to be icing from central and western Massachusetts up to east upstate and eastern New York State and up to Northern Connecticut, extreme north force would run out around metro west region of Massachusetts up to southern New Hampshire here as a mixture of light snow, sleet and freeze rain. Tuesday night and Wednesday morning across the interior and mainly light rain expected in the Boston of the Providence quarter and all preservation across the interior changes rain by Wednesday afternoon. And still, and that's accumulation will be like as more may come slippery to the night and in fact Wednesday morning right there and temperatures should be above freezing by Wednesday afternoon and no further problems will be expected here. Alright, let's take a look at the seven day forecast. It goes like this here. For the overnight hour today, we are going to see some... Cloudy skies with a low around 47 degrees. Southwest with about 7 miles per by Monday, a slight chance of showers after 11 a.m. Most of the clouds cover high about 54 degrees. At southwest, we're about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Coming northwest of the afternoon, chance of formation 20%. By Monday night, punk clouds cover low about 26 degrees. North, we're about 5 miles per hour. Tuesday, punk clouds cover about 35 degrees. East, we're about 6 to 8 miles per hour. Tuesday night, rain and snow showers like before 2 a.m. Then rain showers flow at 32 degrees. East, we're about 3 to 6 miles per hour. The chance of formation is 8%. By Wednesday, showers likely be before 8 a.m. Clouds cover high about 36 degrees. That chance of formation is 6%. But with that, most of the got low about 37 degrees. But Thursday, most of the sun got about 45, low about 27 degrees. But Friday, most of the sun got about 38 degrees. Friday night, chance of snow, most of the got low about 30 degrees, and chest base is 30%. For Saturday, a chance of rain with a few flakes of snow, with most of the got about 44, low about 35 degrees, and chest base is 40%. And for Sunday, a chance of rain and snow, most of the got about 46 degrees, and chest base is 30%. Readers, what a phrase of the day! I mild start to the month of December. Hater Chell News Hobbs now, 11 18, and it is time now for the Sunday Night Sports Roundup here on this Sunday night, November 30th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here, and we are going to start you off up in Lambeau Field, where all good things must come to an end. And that's what happened this evening up in Lambeau Field as the New England Patriots' seven game winning streak. Came to a halt at the hands of the Green Bay Packers as a lose to the Packers up at Lambeau Field. 26 to 21 here. As the Packers got up to a 6 0 lead here on a pair of Mason Crosby field goals, and then Richard Rodgers gets a touchdown for Aaron Rodgers to make it. 13 to nothing, Green Bay Packers at the end of the first quarter here. And then, Brendan Bolden gets a run to make it 13 7 in favor of the Packers here. And then, Crosby again with a field goal to make it 16 7 in favor of 
the Parker's there, and then Brady to LaFell, a pass, and the Patriots cut the Packers lead to 16-14, but that turning point of the game, the game changer came with 14 seconds left in the second quarter. That's when Aaron Rodgers threw a 45-yard pass to Jordy Nelson to make it 23-14 Packers at the halftime break. And then Brady LaFell again in the fourth quarter to make it 23-21. And then Crosby kicks the field goal to make it 26-21 after a Green Bay Packers dropped a pass in the end zone that could have made it to a touchdown and made it a two-possession game. But the Packers had to sell the field goal to make it 26-21 here. And it is time it was in Brady and his team try to lead them the field to a game-winning score. But it followed a look promising. But a stingy Green Bay Packers defense caved them in as the New England Patriots seven-game winning streak comes to an end as they lose to the Green Bay Packers 26-21 they fall to 9-3 season. His Tom Brady had 22 for 35 for 245 yards and two touchdowns, while Aaron Rodgers had 24 for 30 for 368 yards two touchdowns here. Well, it's a loss, but Bill Check was grateful, and now the Patriots are going to put that loss aside and focus on the Senior Chargers coming up Sunday night. Ah, right, San Diego on Sunday night football here, and I hear that San Diego is going to be a tough, tough opponent because the San Diego Chargers came from behind this afternoon to beat the Baltimore Ravens 34-33. So, so, for the Patriots, it's on to San Diego, as Bill Belichick would say. And the Pats are in good shape. 9-3, as we take a look at other scores in the National Football League here, this afternoon here. And we got 5.53 left in the fourth quarter. Denver Broncos are leading the Kansas City Chiefs 29-16 here. And the Houston Texans over the Tennessee Titans 45-21. St. Louis Rams blow out the Oakland Raiders 52 to nothing. San Diego Chargers eat got a win over Baltimore Ravens 34-33. Buffalo Bills over the Cleveland Browns, 26-10. Cincinnati Bengals escape a feisty Tampa Bay Buccaneers squad by beating the Bucks 14-13. Annapolis Colts over the Washington Redskins, 49-27. Jacksonville Jaguars came from a 21-3 deficit to shut the New York Giants, 25-24. Minnesota Vikings over the Carolina Panthers, 31-13. Non Saints over the Pittsburgh Steelers, 35-32. And Atlanta Falcons over the Arizona Cardinals, 29-18 near. Okay, now. Focusing on basketball here. Okay, take a look at basketball results here. The Boston Celtics. Lose to the elite team in the NBA, the Center of Spurs, 111-89 here. Other scores ran in the NBA. It was two three quarters of Los Angeles. Los Angeles Lakers lead the Toronto Raptors, 81-80. And we got 125 left in fourth quarter up in Portland. Portland Trailblazers lead the Minnesota Timberwolves, 102-93. Chicago Bulls over the Brooklyn Nets, 102-84. Golden State Warriors over the Detroit Pistons, 104-93. Memphis Grizzlies over the Sacramento Kings, 97-85. Miami Heat over the New York Knicks, Box 86-79. And Orlando Magic over the Phoenix Suns, 93-90. Here. Okay, let's take a look at the college basketball scoreboard here. It 12.55 left in the second half. UT El Paso leading Washington 43-41. In the second half, Santa Clara over Ryder 68-60. Duke over Army 93-73. Texas escaping Connecticut 55-34. Southeast Louisiana 92. Langston 80. 
Kansas 61, Michigan State 56. Southern Utah 93, UTSA 92. Quinnipiac 89, Vermont 73. UMass 69, Boston University 59. Eton 70, Miami Ohio 68. Kentucky 58, Providence 38. Texas Tech 63, Air Force 62. East Carolina 74, Central Connecticut State 59. Lafayette 82, Fairleigh Dixon 61. Mount Paraiso 70, Portland 55. North Van Illinois 61, Maine 56. Chicago 84, Lipscomb 75. Yale 69, Hartford 57. Fort Atlantic 64, A. Maria 43. Western Michigan 68, San Diego 66. Louis I, 100, PSU, Mont Alto, 74. DePaul, 87, Sanford, 72. Tulane, 73, Tennessee, Tech, 68. Northern Iowa, 55, Richmond, 50. Denver, 79, Lawn, 60. Bowling Green, 64, Detroit, 63. Virginia Tech, 83, Morgan State, 63. Shot, 66, UNC Asheville, 63 in overtime. New Hampshire, 65, Dartmouth, 63. Jacksonville State, 81. Fort Valley State, 49. Arkansas, 94. Iona, 77. Sacred Heart, 71. Campbell, 62. Northern Colorado, 95. Fort A.M., 56. Temple, 70. L.I.U. Brooklyn, 56. Brown, 75. Johnson Rail, 65. USC, 66. New Mexico, 54. Market, 67. Tennessee, 59. Villanova, 78. Delaware, 47. Mary State, 69. Drake, 59. Long Beach State 73, Xavier 70. For the Gulf Coast University 71, South Dakota State 58. Akron 72, Bryant 66. Drexel 59, Southern Mississippi 36. Texas State 68, Howard Payne 39. Eastern Washington 104, Eastern Oregon 87. San Francisco 76, Montana 57. UCF 75, Fifthman Goodman 67. Maryland 95, VMI 77. California 64, Fresno State 57, Georgia Tech 64, Rhode Island 61, SMU 63, Montana 51, South Dakota 68, California State University, Bakersfield 66, North Dakota 72, Montana State 51, Princeton 69, San Jose State 54, and Oregon 81, Portland State 59. In women's basketball. North Carolina 72, Hawaii 63, with 22 seconds left in the second half. Rutgers 100, Davidson 44. Texas A&M 63, Duke 59. Notre Dame 89, Kansas 47. Michigan State 85, Miami Ohio 39. Louisville 86, Valparaiso 59. Nebraska 63, North Carolina 56, Baylor 90, Bears 60. Texas 72, Tennessee 59. Stanford 88. Prairie Valley a &M, 45. And Connecticut 89, Green Bay 53. Okay, take a look at sports news here. Missing our state football player, Costa Carey George, was found dead Sunday. What appeared to be a self inflicted gunshot wound claimed police confirmed from Ohio. Five St. Louis Rams players walked on the field using their hands up. Don't shoot polls adopted by protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. Cleveland Browns quarterback John Manziel looks for an open man against Buffalo Bills in the second half as on the field's name shot and who will be ready. Right, we. The most shocking part of our arbitrary Barbara Jones' will and the Ray West appeal was not that the former U.S. District Court judge overturned West's indeterminate suspension. U with the UAB football team threatening under the students' alumni respond. And in the Grey Cup of 2014, in the Canadian Football League, the Calgary Stampeders win the Grey Cup with a 20 to 16 win over Hamilton Tiger Cats. And in the MLS Cup 2014, it is the Seattle Sounders 2, LA Galaxy 1 here. As LA Galaxy's got two goals and Seattle Sounders 
Football Cup's got two goals, so they're going in overtime. And that's going to be it for Sports Roundup and the Peter Channel News on the Sunday night, November 30th, 2014. Peter was Connect, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night, and say to my morning.